Jack Harper is leading Malaga's promotion charge back to La Liga. Brits on the beach in Malaga in the middle of winter is not an uncommon sight but it doesn't take long for locals to realise that there is something different about this one. Jack Harper is the Scottish centre-forward currently leading Malaga's promotion charge back to the first division in Spain. It's now almost a decade since he was signed by Real Madrid when he was just 13 years old, having his picture taken with Cristiano Ronaldo at the club's Valdebebas training complex. He's the hardest working player out there, and I know, because I have seen it firsthand, he says of one of his boyhood idols who he then admired at close quarters during his six-year stay at the club. He was always the first to come in and the last to leave. I don't think I ever saw his car move. I think he feels guilty about doing anything that's not 100% professional and that's probably the right thing. If you only play for 10 or 12 years you should give it your all and he takes that to the next level. As Harper progressed through the various youth ranks at Madrid reaching the team's under-19 UEFA Youth League signed he would get steadily closer to the first-team superstars. When the Madrid manager, Carlo Ancelotti at the time, wanted a couple of extra players for practice games Harper would often get the call to simulate the striker the team would be up against in the next match. How did a call up like that change that morning's training session? Well it's your moment, he says. A little bit of tension is good for a footballer. Too much, probably not, but some tension builds character. If you can handle it, then that's good. His family's journey to southern Spain had already been an incredible one. His fireman dad and nurse mum moved to the country before Jack was born. It was 22-day road trip in a beaten-up old camper van that included one stop off at Euro Disney and another unscheduled because the van broke down, in when Girola where they set up home. Jack was born six months later and when he was old enough his dad took him to watch Malaga in among the club's army of British expat supporters. I don't ever remember learning Spanish or English I just began speaking Spanish at school and English at home, he says. I was Spanish through the day and then I would go home and be Scottish, that is how I would describe it. He played for local club Fuengirola until Madrid spotted him aged 12. You tell your friends and they don't believe it, they think Madrid is something out of this world, he says. When Real Madrid restructured their youth system and disbanded their C team in 2015, just as Harper was due to make the step up to play for them, he had a big decision to make. They wanted to keep him and send him out on loan but he chose a different path, I was going to Stoke City he says. Mark Hughes was the manager and they had been watching me the whole year and they had a plan for me. They wanted me in the first team quickly. I was all ready to sign but the doctor blocked it. I had internal bleeding in my knee. I didn't think it was that bad but when they did more tests, it was a six-month layoff. It was heartbreaking. I've not cried much in my life but that was a sad day. I came home and did a month's recovery by myself and Brighton were still keen on signing me. I appreciate that to this day. Although the move to Brighton was not a success, blighted by those first months spent alone in physio instead of getting to know new teammates on the pitch, he still feels the experience helped. Growing up in Madrid, I would say I have the tiki-taka side of football, I still had to man up and that's what English football gave me. Now back in Spain as an integral part of Malaga's promotion drive his unorthodox career path seems to have matured him beyond his years. And he remains an unashamed mix of Scottish and Spanish shouting Gaul. When he scores because that's what the fans shout but preferring Iron Brew over Sangria I'll have one now and then, when I deserve one, he says. As he turns away from Mediterranean and heads back up to dry land one fan shouts out, to the first division. Harper gives him the thumbs up. The supporters will want to buy him more than an iron brew if he gets them up. In the club's last home win he scored the winner to put them top. Malaga's objectives are the same as mine, he says. Hopefully both me and the club will be playing in the top division next year.